Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do my three month check-in on my hair growth process. And you guys might be thinking, um, didn't you skip the two month? I did, but that's just because I felt like I didn't really have enough growth. I didn't feel like it needed it to be the one month and then two and then three. But now I have quite a bit going on. There's nothing in my hair. And like, what is this? It's so crazy to me. The texture at first was kind of concerning me because <laughs> it was a little drier. And I was like, is my hair gonna change? And on top of that, there's this one little spot right here that is wanting to curl. And not just like curl this way, but it's wanting to go upward. So I'm thinking, is my hair gonna be curlier than it initially was? And I do have naturally curly hair. So yeah, we're gonna see. I actually have to blow dry my hair now. In order to get it to straighten out in the front at all, I have to blow dry it. <laughs> but I'm refraining from any type of like heat styling, which I couldn't do right now anyway. I meant to tell you guys, but uh, yeah, I completely forgot because <laughs> clearly I am heat styling my hair <laughs> if I'm using a hair dryer. But I meant to let you guys know that I have purchased a hair dryer that will do less damage, and it actually does. I put it on the lowest heat setting. This is the Dyson hair dryer. I really didn't know if this was gimmicky or not, but a friend of mine had it, and she's loved it. I talked to her about it for a while before I ended up purchasing it, but I'm glad that I did because there's definitely a difference in like how my hair feels and everything when I use this to dry my hair, and it works really quickly. Obviously, I don't have a lot of hair to blow dry, but I really do feel that this is going to help protect my hair while I try to dry it and straighten it without overdoing the heat. But anywho, yes, I guess I'm, <laughs> I am heat styling, but I'm trying to do it in a more protective manner. And then I also am not going to be bleaching, dyeing, or doing anything to my hair until I get it to the length I want, which is right around here. I talked about that in my initial video, like why I was wearing wigs, which ones were my favorites, all of that. So I will leave it down below, but I want to have kind of a series so that somebody can watch this this video, the last video, and all the way to the last one. How to grow your hair from nothing to right around here, like, and what haircuts you should go for in between, or just some suggestions. For me, how I'm keeping everything clean is letting the top grow, and then I am cutting the sides. So you can kind of see I have, like it's faded down here. I typically go from a one, up to a three. Now it I can't do that. I'm gonna have to start going into somebody to really make sure that I'm letting this grow. I need to let this section right here start to grow out some and keep it clean at the same time. I messed mine up the last time I did it. I'm like, so I'm not touching it again. I'm probably gonna have somebody else just kind of clean it up and shape it for me, but still letting the top and the areas that need to grow grow. Obviously, if I were to let this grow at the same rate as this is, then I would have, this would be the length I needed it to be in six months, and then the top would be to here. So we can't do that. So I'm going to keep you guys updated on how I keep my hair cut and what I'm doing to style it and all of that throughout this journey. So if you're curious about it, I'm going to have a playlist so you guys can keep up. Right now, I'm going to show you where I very first started, zero guard on there, and just shaved everything off because I wanted it to all come back as one color and this is my natural hair color it's a level five brown it's more neutral brown but if i put bleach on it or anything it does go through that red stage so here it is completely shaved down and then one month after that's how much growth i didn't cut or anything and then now i have been cutting the sides and this is the three month mark i skipped the second one didn't feel like it was necessary three months i feel like i actually have enough to do something with. Like I could actually spike this up a little bit if I wanted to and I can play with it and I actually twirl my hair. It's so strange to wake up and my hair be sticking up. <laughs> it's like I'm not used to it at all. But I'm really enjoying this cut. It's like it's nice to have a little bit of hair again. And now when I go back and I look at me being platinum, it's very strange. I know all you guys have yeah, what you like the best and this and that, but this is a process. This is a... I don't know, just a fun change is gonna take me about two years to do. 
But anywho, that is it. I just wanted to update you guys where I'm at at three months and what I'm doing to keep it how it is. The shampoo and conditioner I am using is the Big Sexy Hair. I don't think it's, it's Sexy Hair. The Sexy Hair Strong Sexy Hair. I'm just using the shampoo and conditioner and then I use the Verb Ghost Oil. And then on top of that, when I want to style it, I mix the Verb Ghost Oil along with the Got To Be Glued Ultra Glued Black Bottle. I mix those two together and that's what I use to style it. Again, nothing in my hair today, but I want it to be soft and kind of move it around for you guys so you could see. Anywho, that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick update and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.